Hello everybody. Topic for today is COVID vaccine in pregnant and lactating mothers. Now let's understand that this is a slightly gray area. You need to listen to it carefully and go through the video completely to understand this. Now let's understand why this question is a difficult one to answer. After having gone through all the guidelines that is CDC of USA, RCOG of UK, FOXI of India and the statements from the Pediatric Association, what we can understand is that they mention that you have to go to your doctor and have a one to one consult and then take the decision of taking the vaccine. Now, what will the doctor discuss with you before offering you the vaccine? So these points will be discussed in the video. So let's go through it. First of all, why should pregnant and lactating mothers receive the vaccine? Please understand currently the world world is under the fold of this pandemic lot of patients are getting affected from this illness. Among them, it is known that pregnant women have a higher risk of contracting the illness. So also those who have contracted the illness have a slight higher chance of getting a severe disease. Even if they battle the disease, it is found that they are at higher risk of having preterm kids. So understanding all these things, it is put into the category that pregnant women are a slightly high risk category. Now, if so, then every pregnant woman should receive the vaccine, but then it is not advised by the government of India. Why is it so? Now, please understand that whenever a new vaccine is developed, the trials go on in healthy individuals. So the category of kids who are less than 18 years and pregnant and lactating women are excluded from this and only healthy individuals have undergone the trial. So there is really no sustainable data to tell that no, there are no risks if a mother takes it. Now people might ask what is this risk if the mother takes it? People think that there is possibility of teratogenicities. That is, if you take the vaccine, then there can be some harmful effect in the newborn child. Or whether it is vertically transmitted. That is, if you take the vaccine, the vaccine, can it cause illness in the child? So these are some of the difficult questions which needs to be answered. And this can only be done after thorough studies. So. What we have to understand is in these guidelines, there are certain categories who are considered as high risk and they must be offered the vaccine. Who are those? Say if a pregnant woman is a doctor, a pregnant woman is a nurse or she is a frontline healthcare workers. Apart from that, any person who engages with people on a day-to-day -day basis is at high risk of contracting the illness. These people must and should take the vaccine. Why? The benefits outweigh the risks. That is, if at all you take the vaccine, then you are going to be safe while the risks, though unknown, are very small. So in such a category, you must take the vaccine. Now, coming to the second category. In this category, it is advisable to take the vaccine. So who come under this category? Let's consider that a pregnant woman is a known case of congenital heart disease or she has a kidney problem or she is a case of diabetes, hypertension or any of these conditions which consider as comorbidities or, or immunocompromising conditions, they must take the vaccine. So also those women who are elderly they and they have become pregnant late, they must receive the vaccine because 
again the benefits outweigh the risks now coming to the third and the most interesting and difficult to answer category is that say i stay home i am not getting exposed to anybody i will take thorough precautions and i have no comorbidities should i still take the vaccine and if i am pregnant so let's understand that so many people staying at home and taking lot of precautions have contracted this disease so it is advisable that even in this category you should be offered the vaccine now some people having understood all these things and considering that there are some risks if i don't take the vaccine they might decline but that is their choice but every person every woman should be made aware of the risks and it should be given as a choice to whether they can receive or avoid the vaccine so i hope the whole concept of pregnant women and vaccine is clear now coming to the next part lactating women so it is seen that there are no adverse effect if lactating women take this jab so please understand that we recommend lactating women to take the vaccine there is a theoretical advantage also as you understand that kids or newborns are currently not being vaccinated if the mother receives the vaccine she generates enough antibodies theoretically these antibodies can pass through the breast milk and the child might have some protection now that covid is affecting the child also this is one way of preventing it i hope this is clear now another important question is so many mothers ask when should i take this vaccine whether in the first trimester second or third trimester now again this is a gray area yet let's clarify please understand that during the first trimester there are lot of chances of abortion so what is advised is that sometimes the vaccine may be wrongly blamed for this abortion so preferably you should avoid taking the vaccine in the first trimester because this is the time when all the major body organs are developing and any change in the atmosphere or any problem to the mother can cause adverse effect to the child so first trimester preferably avoid second versus third the thing is whenever it is available to you at the earliest you prefer to take the vaccine so second or third it's a no brainer take the vaccine at earliest finally another question which is haunting the doctors regarding women is whether during menstruation before or after they can take the vaccine please understand that there is no change in your immunity during the menstruation period so please go and receive your vaccine at the earliest i hope i have clarified most of the doubts around this issue if at all you have any more doubts i know it is a difficult question to answer but i will try to answer your question as much as possible i would also lay, send the link of the guidelines from cdc rcog acog to those who want to learn about this question a little, little bit more thank you and if there is any question please mention them in the comment section